I'm Anil Kumar and here is a very interesting question on absolute inequalities. I would like you to pause the video, copy the question answer and then check with my solution. The question is sketch the solution of absolute x minus y less than 1. Here is my solution. When we say absolute value of something is less than 1, what does it mean? So let me make big and bold writing of the same question. We have this, correct? It means what? It means that the inside term, it could be negative one also. Do you see that? So the inside term x minus y actually is less than 1 or greater than minus 1. That is what it means and that is what helps us to find the solution. Correct? So we'll use this equation to find the solution. Sketch means we have to sketch it, so we'll also sketch it on the side. right? So that is what we'll do. Rather, we'll provide a solution on the graph itself. And as you know, I always sketch rough graphs, so I'll continue doing the same. Okay. Now this equation, double inequality, can be seen in two parts. So let me do them separately. So one is minus 1 and then we have x minus 1. The other one is x minus y is less than 1. So let's rearrange, bringing y to this side. So we get y is less than, bringing 1 to the other side, x plus 1, correct. And this equation will bring y to the right side. So we have x minus 1 is less than y or y is greater than x minus 1. So we have two different equations. We'll sketch and the intersection. So we have intersection of these two will be our solution, right? So that is how we find graphical solution, right? So intersection is what is our solution. So let's sketch the line. First one is y less than x plus 1. Slope is 1. Y intercept is 1. Let me just draw a rough sketch. This is right. Now, now in this, the solution is less than, y is less than, that means this line is not included, so I'm shading it dotted line, not included, and the solution is downwards. Do you see that? The solution is downwards. And this line is x plus 1, and that is how we do the first line. Now let's do the next line, which is y is greater than x minus 1. So x minus 1 means that the y-intercept is negative 1. However, the slope is still 1. So we have a line which is parallel to the first line, but with y-intercept of negative 1. So kind of, let me sketch one here. Now y is greater than, correct? So in this case, since y is greater than, we are going to sketch it above the line, correct? So the line is not included, so I'm writing the dashed line as I did before. Is it okay? And then we are sketching above the line. Do you see that? Like this. This is y greater than whatever. So what do you find? This portion in between is the solution, correct? So the portion in between is the solution. That is how you get the solution of such inequalities, right? So that is y and this is x for us and this is the origin. Origin lies in the solution for us. If I write 0, 0, you know 0 is less than 1. So you can just test it out. So that is how you can solve such a question. I hope you understand and appreciate it. I'm Anil Kumar. Subscribe to my videos to learn more. Thank you and all the best.